Here comes Reflected Sun. She's a really lovely bow touch. She's 65 feet long, traditional stern, built by Coldcraft and fitted out by Coldcraft in 1991. She's been tried and tested as a liverboard with her current owners. She was last blacked in 2022. She had six new anodes put on her at the time. There's also a survey conducted in 2022. That will be on the boat for viewing. She's not at our at our war. She's in Warwick. She's moored in Warwick. The mooring could be available, subject to meeting the landlord. So viewings are by appointment only, please. A lot of boat actually with reflected sun. Loads of storage. Nicely equipped. There's ten of these bus style windows on the boat, so she's very light. There's a Houdini hatch as well, actually, in the galley. The cratch cover was new in 2022 that's in good condition the well deck's a good size actually nearly six feet long two gas bottles in that forward locker there 13 kilos with a changeover valve <clears throat> a couple of seats either side of the well deck and storage lockers as well the water tanks under my feet stainless steel not sure of the capacity that's a tumble dryer white knight tumble dryer and there's also a freezer to the right hand side of it there 230 volt freezer that's curry's the the brand stable doors glazed <clears throat> quite good for keeping the dogs in and then we go she's fitted out in a mixture of pine tongue and groove and oak face ply with oak trim the saloon is huge 13 feet 5 inches long head height on the boat is six foot four it's carpeted through the boat that's a more so squirrel stove there's no <clears throat> seats in here at the moment but there's Room for a couple of super comfy armchairs. Quite nice light on the wall there. There's a cupboard in here. The storage under the step here. There we go. Some sort of Hoover contraption, I think, in there at the moment. That's a Kenwood CD radio. There's a couple of speakers in the sitting room here. And another good sized cupboard with my clobber in, actually, for the camera. Plenty of shelves couple of cupboards either side of this glazed shelf unit it's a decent sized radiator underneath there's two of these uh, i call them ottomans i don't know if they are but sort of storage things that double up as bench seats and under the work surface here really good sized cupboard huge this work surface i really like it actually plenty of space to be prepping supper and there's a view down the saloon Lovely room. That would be really cosy with the right furniture in it. Right, the galley itself, 9 feet 6 inches long. There's a gate leg table there. That's a dining table, I suppose. Laminate work surfaces. It's got everything in the kitchen that you would need. A little drawer here for cutlery. Cupboard underneath. Oh, that one doesn't open. Of course, because it's got the table behind it. That's not very intelligent. Vanette oven, there's a Kenwood microwave up there. Vanette oven and grill. Below that is the fridge. It's a 12 volt angle with an ice box. Cupboard up here. There's a four burner Vanette gas hob. And there's your stainless steel sink with a drainer next to it. Massive cupboards underneath the sink. It goes all the way end to end. And then under this bit of the work surface is the washing machine. It's a Beko washing machine. So you've got washing machine and tumble dryer on board. And 230 volts, there's a Houdini hatch I mentioned. 230 volts is either landline, and there is front and back hookup on this boat, or there is a 3 kilowatt generator in the engine room, so that's quite useful. Side hatch here with a roof hatch over it closed at the moment and then here's the bathroom lovely ceramic sink on the countertop there medicine cabinet with mirrors on there and a cupboard underneath the loo itself is a traveler pump out loo there's a radiator there and there's the bath it's a corner bath with shower over it and a curtain rail that runs around there look quite a nice option having a bath on the boat I had one, never used it a huge amount, but it was nice when it did, and it's also great for dumping wet clothes and things. Anyway, here's the bedroom. 
It's 10 feet, 9 inches long. The bed itself measures 6 foot 4 by 4 feet wide. Storage under. A couple of reading lights over it under this cupboard. It's a nice fit out, this. Cold craft usually don't disappoint, to be honest. And at the foot of the bed, there's a single post there. Little dressing area. Quite nice with a stool there. Decent sized mirror above it. And in here, that's the Aldi gas boiler, so it's Aldi central heating to four radiators and a really good sized wardrobe. It's almost walk in actually. So Aldi central heating, the hot water on the boat is heated by that gas boiler or the engine. Then we've got another bedroom, nice little wooden bureau there. And in here are two bunk beds. That's great if you've got a couple of children you want on board. Or a couple of adults for that matter. Or I suppose you could take out a bottom bunk and turn it into some sort of desk and have an office. Plenty of options. More storage in this room. There's a wardrobe here. Another cupboard underneath. That door just pulls off. And I've not put it back very well, but that'll do for now. Storage under those steps, and on the other side of the boat is a really good sized storage cupboard here. So you won't be struggling for storage on this boat. Engine room. The storage lockers either side, although the one on the top left of the screen there, that houses the generator, which is there. It's a uh, SAIS size, I don't know, ZEIWSE 3 kilowatt generator. Storage in there. That's your battery charger. It's a Mariner 25 amp battery charger. And out onto the back deck. The, the insides of these back doors and the side hatch actually were painted by Ron Huff. Quite a well-known uh, character on the canals. The engine's in here. It's a Thornycroft 110 Inlander, four-cylinder. Battery banks on the right-hand side of the screen there, 310 amp-hour domestics. There's one battery for the starter and one for the generator as well. There's the view from the helm, and we'll have another walk back through. So hot water on board, I think I mentioned, can't remember. Hot water's heated by the engine and the Aldi gas boiler. It's a PRM160 gearbox. Really lovely woodwork. She's got a, an anchor on board. There's a tunnel lamp and the usual navigation bits, the mooring pins, ropes, fenders. And the paintwork's in need of a bit of attention, I suppose I should mention, particularly the roof, but that's been factored into the price. So there we go, lovely, lovely liveaboard boat or extended holidays, reflected sun, further photographs, fully downloadable brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.